assalamu alaikum dear students you know we are discussing the types of relation on a set today we are going to discuss another type of relation on a set which is equivalence relation now let's suppose that a is non empty set and r be a relation on this and this r is said to be equivalence relation if it is both symmetric if it is transitive and reflexive so this means that any relation which is of this these three types that is if the relation on a set is both symmetric it is transitive it is reflexive then we say that the relation on this set on a given set is equivalence relation like if we consider a set a equals to 1 2 then a cross a is 1 1 1 2 2 1 and 2 2 let's consider this r to be 1 1 1 2 2 1 2 2 that is r is here the universal relation on this set a then clearly r is symmetric because for if we consider any ordered pair which belongs to this r that is a b belongs to r this implies that b a belongs to r because here 1 1 belongs to this implies that converse of this 1 1 is 1 1 so it belongs to this 1 2 implies that 2 1 2 1 implies that 1 2 belongs to this so this means that this r is symmetric relation similarly r is reflexive because there exists or there are only two elements in the set a which is one and two here one belongs to a also one one belongs to this r two belongs to a two two belongs to this r also so this means that for each and every element of a a a belongs to this r hence this r is symmetric also now here also we can say that r is transitive R is transitive because for any elements of the form of a b and b c which belongs to this r implies that this a c belongs to r because here elements of this type are 1 1 and 1 2 this implies that 1 2 belongs to this because 1 2 is the element itself also 1 2 and 2 1 are the elements of the form of a b and b c this implies that 1 1 belongs to this because 1 1 is here in this set similarly 2 2 and 2 2 implies that 2 2 belongs to r so this means that there exists uh, an element of the form of a b and b c which implies that a c belongs to r so by the definition of equivalence relation this r on set 1 2 is equivalence relation similarly if we define a relation on the set of integers that is a is here the set of integer here a equals to z which is set of integers and we define a relation on a on this a means on the set of integers as r is set of all those ordered pairs such that two dividers here this sign implies that dividers two dividers the difference of these two numbers that is two dividers a b a minus b for all a b belongs to z then we will prove that this relation is actually the equivalence relation for equivalence relation, we have to prove that this is reflexive, this is symmetric, and this is transitive. Now, if a is any integer, that is a belongs to z, this means that a minus a is 0, because if we subtract a number with itself, the resultant is 0. So, 2 divided 0, because 0 is a one number, hence, 2 divided a minus a. So, when 2 divided a minus a by the definition of r on this set z, r is reflexive relation similarly uh, this uh, or is transitive because let a b belongs to this or this means that where a is integer b is integer this means that 2 divided a minus b when 2 divided a minus b it implies that 2 divided b minus a because if a 2 divided a minus b this implies that a minus b is integer even integer now when a minus b is even integer implies that b minus a is also even integer the only difference is in sign sign doesn't matter here so simply we can say that when 2 divided a minus b this implies that 2 divided b minus a also so r is symmetric relation now similarly we can prove that this uh, r is a transitive relation transitive means we have to prove let uh, uh, there exists an element a b which belongs to r and b c which belongs to r when a b belongs to r this implies that 2 belongs to 2 divided a minus b when b c belongs to r this implies that 2 divided b minus c 
when 2 divided a minus b implies that a minus b is even when 2 divided b minus c implies that uh, this b minus c is even now we have to show that this ac belongs to r for this we have to show that 2 divided a minus c or 2 a minus c is even now a minus c can be written as a plus b minus b minus c because minus b plus b cancels so we get simply a minus c now here a minus b we can write this as a minus b and b minus c now a minus b is integer because a b belongs to r b minus c is even integer because b c belongs to r so sum of two even integer is even which implies that a minus c is even when a minus c is even this implies that this uh, two divides a minus c when two divides a minus c this implies that a c belongs to r so for any ordered pairs of the form of a b which belongs to r and b c which belongs to r implies that a c belongs to r hence this is a transitive relation now when this r is transitive relation now i will show here what this transitive relation uh, does on this set z on which it is defined here the set is z so this means that here set of in this uh, integers we have two types of in integers one the even integer let's say that that set is denoted by e and second one is odd integer which is denoted by o then clearly no even is odd or no odd is even which implies that the intersection between these two sets is empty set also even integer when we join even integer with the odd we get a new set which is called set of integers that is e intersection o is set of integers that is e is 0 plus minus 2 plus minus 4 which are the in even integers and o is here set of orders that is plus minus 1 plus minus 3 plus minus 5 now let a and b be any two even integers that is a belongs to e b belongs to e then their difference is always even because a1 minus a1 is always a1 now when a minus b is even which implies that 2 divided a minus b hence when 2 divided a minus b so this means that under this relation this a is related with b means a1 is related with a1 any two a1s are related that is a b belongs to r similarly if we consider two odd integers one the c second one the d any general integer odd integer then difference of odds is a1 which implies that c minus d is a1 when c minus d is a1 which implies that 2 divided c minus d or we can say that c d, uh, c ordered pair c d belongs to r so from this we conclude that for any two even integers are related to each other while as any two odds are related to each other each other under this relation or which we define it as a b such that a 2 divides a minus b now if we consider any number even integer that is a and b be the odd number then the difference of a1 or odd is always odd or difference of odd minus a1 is always odd so this means that 2 does not divide a minus b or 2 does not divide us b minus a because their difference is always odd because one is a1 second one is odd which implies that a b does not belongs to this ordered pair ordered pair a b does not belongs to this r means this relation or we can say that no a1 is related with odd or no odd is related with a1 under this relation so this means that under these uh, two sets set e and set o these two sets set e and set o they are completely disjoint and there does not exist any element between these two sets which are related to each other so we can say that this relation on a set partitions the set into disjoint clauses clause means those elements set of all those elements which are related to each other that is the clause here we have two clauses one the set of even integers these even integers are related to each other second one the odd integer all these odds are related to each other but they are not related to each other in turn so this means that we can say that any equivalence relation partition is the set into disjoint clauses partition actually means division into dis, uh, this disjoint sets and their unit and their union should be the given set because here if we consider e intersection o 
it is phi but their union is whole set z this means the partition so any equivalence relation on a set partitions the set into equivalence classes so this was about this equivalence relation so thank you